Hey guys, just a quick video talking about the um, Razor E300 scooter overvolted. Um, what we're doing is we're taking the standard 24 volt E300 Razor scooter and converting it to 36 volts, uh, hence the term overvolting. Um, what that does is increase the RPM of the stock motor and um, increases the speed. And uh, if you do what I did, um, increases the torque as well. So what we've done is um, a couple of things. One, we uh, increased the speed controller. We added another 12 volt battery and uh, we increased the size of the rear sprocket. Um, so let's get to work. I'll show you what, what we did. So um, here's the 300 scooter overvolted. It's taken apart so I can show you exactly what we did. So um, right here, we changed the um, standard uh, scooter sprocket, the rear sprocket, to a 65 tooth sprocket. Now what you do is when you keep the stock sprocket on the front, um, and we've taken apart the motor, so I'll show you what the stock sprocket looks like. But we keep the stock sprocket on, on the front, um, and then we increase the size of the rear sprocket, what you're doing is essentially you're slowing the scooter down, but you're increasing the torque. So the scooter will then go up hills better. Um, so with this new setup, I think the stock speed on the E300 is around 15 miles an hour. Um, Overvolted, you're supposed to get in excess of 20 miles an hour, all the way up to maybe 25, 27, I think some people are getting. Um, but what, we're, what we've done is then um, decrease the speed, decrease the torque, because it's very hilly where we live here. Um, so we wanted to make sure that the scooter could go up hills. Um, what we've also done is um, we incorporated a 36 volt um, speed controller. We took the stock 24 volt speed controller out and we put in a 36 volt. Um, this one we picked up from Fast Scooters. It was pretty easy to plug in. Um, all the plugs were uh, labeled. Uh, these are headlight and taillight optional, which I don't currently have on the scooter. Uh, we plugged in the brake, um, plugged in the charging port, uh, the controller here for the new throttle. Um, I use some XT60 connectors uh, to connect to the battery and also to connect to um, the motor, which I currently have apart. Um, we added another 12 volt um, traditional uh, lead acid battery. It's a sealed lead acid battery. Now we have three 12 volts, right? So if we run them in series, we can increase the voltage to 36 volts. Normally it would be two, 12 times two is 24, 12 times three is 36. The way that we do that is pretty easy, right? We just make a loop. So we take the positive of one to the negative of the other. Then we took the positive of one to the negative of the third, and then we connected these two here. So essentially what you have is then three, all three looped in series. So if you read the voltage out of the output, now it's 36 volts, right? These are each 10 amp batteries, which are um, pretty high amperage. So they give a lot of torque, they give um, 36 volts a lot of speed. The problem is when you run this, you run this on your stock 24 volt motor, you overvolt the motor. And uh, by overvolting the motor, you increase the speed, the RPM, and you increase uh, the temperature. So what essentially has happened to this motor in very short order is um, we overused it. Um, at first it went out really well, uh, the motor got hot, it's a stock, I think, 250 volt motor, 20, or I'm sorry, 250 amp, um, or no, watt motor, I'm sorry, 250 watt motor, 24 volt, 250 watt motor, um, which we overvolted to 36 volts, which actually ends up being about 40 volts, and then we fried the motor on it. You can see where it's all discolored and black in here. Um, so the motor in very short order and climbing some hills, we overvolted it and we fried it. So we took it apart. Take a look at it. That we're replacing the motor with a 24 volt, 350 watt motor, uh, which is coming tomorrow. And then we'll plug that in. And then, uh, next week I ordered, um, it's coming late. I think next week I'm coming on actually 24 volt, 500 watt motor. So we're really beefing the size of the motor up that goes into this portion. There's where the motor, motor bolts in right there. And uh, we'll put the 350 volt or watt motor in and see if it does any better. And, um, and then eventually we'll put probably put the 500 watt in. Um, top speed again is probably not going to increase, but, I, but what I'm really interested in more than top speed is torque. And uh, if we get the torque to go up the hills, um, this even with the overvolted straight motor, uh, 250 watt motor, 
started climbing hills that the stock scooter wouldn't even dream of. So I'm pretty happy with the way the thing is being set up. It's obviously a work in progress right now. Uh, let's take a quick look at the throttle. Uh, we also increased the throttle um, to a, uh, a Hall Effect throttle. It's a 36 volt Hall Effect throttle. And the difference is two things, one, well, a couple of things. One, it's got the key. One, it's got a digital readout for the battery to, so you can keep an eye on your voltage. And then the third one is actually um, the stock throttle is either on or off. This throttle uh, is incremental. So you can throttle up or throttle down or ride uh, fast or slow on the 300 scooter. And uh, it works pretty well. So stay tuned when we get the new motor, we'll put it in and uh, we'll continue the video. Any questions? Go ahead and post below. Otherwise, um, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.